So we got some pretty big news today that the Dolphins are firing Josh Boyer. It wasn't that surprising. I think a lot of us saw it coming, but he wasn't the only guy. The Dolphins also fired safeties coach Steve Gregory, linebackers coach Ty McKenzie, and assistant linebackers coach Steve Ferenz. And one thing all those guys have in common along with Josh Boyer is that they all came from the Patriots. They were all picked up uh, with uh, with Brian Flores when he was named the head coach of the Dolphins back in 2020. And it's pretty clear that Mike McDaniel is clearing out the defensive coaching, especially the guys that came from New England. At least those guys are priority. Um, I also expect to see Danny Crossman get fired, at least so we can hope, who's the special teams coordinator. Special teams was awful this season, so that's got to be something that's got to be fixed. Um, but my thoughts on Josh Boyer uh, just a year ago about when McDaniel was fired is that you got to give him, or sorry, when McDaniel was hired is that you got to give Josh Boyer a year, at least a year. The defense was playing like one of the best defenses in the NFL. You're only adding on pieces. Christian Wilkins, Jalen Phillips, those guys are only getting better. Same with Javon Holland. You need to give Josh Boyer at least one more year. And I don't even know if I actually posted the video about this, but I made five concerns I had for the Dolphins this past season. And one of them was the Brian Flores list defense. Because it was pretty clear that Brian Flores was one of the key ingredients to having one of the best defenses in the NFL. Um, but with you know the Tua, the Tua development and stuff, you obviously needed an offensive coach, and that's why they brought in Mike McDaniel. So I was worried about the defense. Um, I was hoping that maybe Josh Boyer was the was the real reason behind the defensive success. But <laughs> this season, we definitely learned that it was because of Brian Flores. And if you've been watching the past couple of videos, you know I've been saying the Dolphins need to move on and fire Josh Boyer. Um, I know that we've had a lot of injuries on defense. That would have that could easily be an excuse to give Josh Boyer at least one more year. That's why I wouldn't totally be shocked if he wasn't fired. Um, these are all the injuries we had on defense this year. A lot of them to keep in mind. Brandon Jones, Byron Jones, whatever his situation was. Trey Flowers, Emmanuel Ogba, Trill Williams. Nick Needham, those guys go down and you sign Mackenzie Alexander and before he even plays a game, he gets a season-ending injury and Justin Zimmer too if you want to throw him in there um, as well as some other guys being injured late in the season. The defense had a lot, a lot of injuries. Um, Bradley, Bradley Chubb missed a few games, I guess, you know, a game or two, whatever. Um, but, I mean, it's it it's a lot of injuries. It could, like I said, I wouldn't totally be shocked if he was retained for at least one more year. Um, but I do really understand the decision to move on from him. A lot of the play calling was so confusing, very confusing. Th the main play of the season, I think we all recognized, was the Chargers game on third and seventeen, where it or it was third and goal from the seventeen yard line. And for some reason, you're blitzing like six guys and you're having five guys literally just stand on the stand at the end zone. I like I, I'm not saying I'm a defensive coordinator. I'm not saying I should be hired for this job, nor should I be any type of NFL head uh, coaching job. But I think that that might be the last play I would come up with. Why would you have five play? And then they, 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 they get the screen to Eckler. Eckler goes down to the one. They go for it on fourth down. They get it before the half. That's what's been killing the Dolphins all season long. The touchdowns before halftime. Uh, in Buffalo, the Bills scored before halftime, literally at the last second. If they stopped it, it would have been like a tie game going to halftime. Um, in this past recent game, the, the, the Bills also scored a field goal. You would not think it's much, but the Bills won that game by a field goal. We would have gone to halftime tied with them 17-17. The Packers scored a touchdown before the half ended. The Niners scored a touchdown to Christian McCaffrey with like three seconds left. Like, it goes a long way, these touchdowns before the half. It's always been killing the Dolphins all season long. Um, but uh, one thing I will mention is that this job is going to be... I think that, that this defensive coordinator job with the Dolphins should be very attractive to other coaches. Um, core, core players, young players, Jalen Phillips, Zach Sealer, Christian Wilkins, who... Better get extended this offseason. Bradley Chubb, Cater Kohu, uh, Javon Holland, and Emmanuel Ogba, if you want to throw him in there too. Emmanuel Ogba is young. He just got a contract extension last season. And he said, you know, I, I don't know if it's true because we've been saying the same thing about Tua for a couple weeks now. Emmanuel Ogba said in the locker room that he would have been back if the Dolphins advanced and played the Chiefs. Now, if I'm being totally honest, he probably wouldn't have played in that game because we would have probably heard more about it before. Um, but you know, they're, they're trying to say that they would have been back there. They're healthy. They're fine. Um, but 
Emmanuel Ogba, you know, even if he wouldn't be back for that game, he's going to be healthy for next season. He'll be fine by training camp and OTAs, whatever. I have some candidates here for this defensive coordinator job. And the main guy that everyone's been talking about, he's, he's the number one guy on my list too, Vic Fangio, or Fangio, whatever. The Broncos defensive coordinator, or the Broncos head coach from a couple years ago, who was fired. And I do want to mention the whole situation with Sean Payton right now also. Because Sean Payton has been a name linked with the Dolphins multiple times over the, over the past couple years, especially linked with the name Tom Brady. You may see, you may sound that as familiar. Um, they were trying to, you know, link up and come to Miami with uh, before McDaniel was hired and stuff. And the basically the Brian Flores lawsuit canceled that all out. I don't want Tom Brady near this team. The, the the nearest he can be is his home in Miami Beach, which is like, you know, only 20 minutes away from the stadium. So that's as close as he can be to Hard Rock Stadium. Um, <laughs> but regardless, I don't want him playing for the Dolphins. I don't want Sean Payton coaching the Dolphins. We're fine with McDaniel. Let's build on what we have. Tua is the best quarterback play the Dolphins have had in the past 25 years or so. Why would you move on from him in his third season after just breaking out? He missed a couple games, sure. Are you really going to move on from him just because of that? Uh, Lamar Jackson missed more games or just maybe the same amount as games as Tua did. Jalen Hurts missed two games or three games or so. Um, like, There's quarterbacks missing games every single week. So there, there's really no reason to move on from Tua. There's no reason to move on from McDaniel. He's a first-year head coach. Like I said, he brought out the best of Tua, the best QB play we've seen in 25 years. There's no reason to move on from either of those guys. Uh, but back to the defensive coordinator candidates, which I actually started with. Vic Fangio should be interested in coming to the Dolphins. He was with the Broncos a couple years ago. Like I said before, he was fired. Um, he's the guy that you know brought in Bradley Chubb to Denver, so maybe he wants to reunite with him down here. But like I said before, this job should be attractive. You got a lot of young players. You got a lot of talent. A lot of talent that was wasted last season, and a lot of talent that you're going to get back. Players that are going to be finally um, healthy. Nick Needham, I fully expect to re-sign. I think we'll have Trill Williams because he's a young player. I think that he is going to give the Dolphins another chance. We, he didn't even get a play last, last season at all. Brandon Jones, I do expect to come back. Um, I will say, it this play is stuck in my mind still. The Eric Rose strip sack on Josh Allen that forced a touchdown. like That was impressive, but still Brandon Jones is the best safety blitzer in the NFL. I don't it, I, I mean you I don't, I don't even think it's that close. Like I'm not I'm not a huge NFL fan. I am a big NFL fan, but I'm not going to name, you know, the top blitzing safeties off the, off the top of my head. Brandon Jones is there. Like Brandon Jones is probably the best blitzing safety. We missed his presence so much coming off the edge especially cuz Josh Boyer loved to blitz. That's another thing I hated about him. He would send seven guys and leave four out man on man. You're leaving. He did the same thing in the Bills game in the wild card game. Why would you send six guys and have a Stephon Diggs versus Damien Howard one on one? That's exactly what happened on on the third and fifteen on the Bills like second drive of the game or something on the Bill yeah on the Bills second drive of the game. You send six. It's a four on four one on one for each guy. Stephon Diggs just takes Damien Howard with him and he easily like it wasn't even that close. Um, but. I do want to see the Dolphins kind of sending less guys because I do think with this, with this, with these core players, they should be able to get to Josh Allen or not only Josh Allen. They should be able to get the quarterbacks with four guys, maybe five at most. Um, Phil, you send Phillips, Wilkins, Chubb, um, have Sealer in there, Melvin Ingram if you want to bring him back. There's no shot that they don't get to Josh Allen next season. Or I'm, I keep thinking Josh Allen. There's no shot that they don't get to any quarterback next season. Um, so like I said, Vic Fangio is probably one of the guys at the top of that head coaching job. Jim Schwartz, sorry, DC job. Jim Schwartz was actually one of the guys that I really wanted at first, but he, uh, he's just signed as the defensive coordinator of the Browns. I'm pretty sure. Um, Lovey Smith is an option just was fired by the Texans, but he's a smart defensive guy. Eric Washington is the Bills D line coordinator. I'm pretty sure. Um, he wouldn't be a bad, bad option. But probably won't happen. Mike Zimmer is definitely an option. Raheem Morris was just fired by the Rams. Steve Wilkes is probably going to be let go by the Panthers. That's probably not going to happen. Neither is Raheem Morris. 
I think Mike Zimmer, Lovey Smith, and Vic Fangio are probably the top three guys I'm looking at. Now, because we're the Dolphins, we're probably going to hire someone else that nobody's ever heard of, but only time will tell. Um, also, with the safeties and linebackers coach, I think the safeties coach is going to be pretty big because that's also going to go on to you know Javon Holland's development. Um, linebackers coach, I don't really know what that's going to do too much of because um, I, I don't know how many linebackers we even have under roster next season. Jerome Baker... Um, Elena Roberts is a free agent though. I don't know if they're going to even re-sign him. He was a huge, uh, he was a huge, uh, impact in the run game, but when it came to pass coverage, Elena Roberts is really, really lost on the field sometimes. So I'm not really sure if that's going to be a top guy they're going to want to bring back, especially considering the run stoppers we have with Sealer and Wilkins. I don't think that that's going to be one of the top, one of their top priorities this off season, especially with the limited amount of money and draft capital they have. Um, but that's for a whole different video. The <laughs> the free agency and draft episodes are going to be pretty crazy because the Dolphins are working with a tight budget here. So this is going to be an interesting offseason for Chris Greer and the organization. But either way, that'll wrap up. Josh Boyer finally fired. So we got what we wanted. Um, and now only time will tell to see who we hire at our defensive coordinator job. It's going to be pretty huge with Mike McDaniel can finally just take care of the offense and... TBD, our defensive coordinator, can just take care of the defense, and we can all live a happy life. So we'll, 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 we'll see what happens with this one. Obviously, as soon as we hire a guy, we interview a couple coaches, we'll be back here recording. But either way, that'll wrap up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace.